Hey everyone, Ryan the Goherent here. Today I'm back with a different sort of Subnautica video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for PC. Now the site you're going to want to go to is nexusmods.com slash Subnautica below zero. This is the entirety of the URL. You're going to need to make an account here, and you're going to want to download the Nexus Mod Manager. That's not going to be hard because if you were to click a Mod Manager download button like this without having it, when you come to this page, it's going to prompt you to download and install the Mod Manager. It's very straightforward. Since I'm teaching you how to install mods, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. When you click your download link, though, it's going to ask you want to open Vortex, which is the Mod Manager, and you're going to say, yes, of course I do. That's the whole reason I got this program. But let's wind back a second to exactly which thing I was downloading, right? This is QMods Manager. This is not a mod I want, but a mod I need. So... The mods I want are Fast Loading Screen, Glow Fix, and EasyCraft. To go through them briefly, Fast Loading Screen fixes a problem where apparently the loading screen is FPS capped to 60 and tied to FPS. So this just turns off the FPS and the FPS cap and loading screens. Glow Fix fixes the thing where exterior modules are all maximum lighting at all times after you load the save. And EasyCraft is a mod I had in the original Subnautica that simply allows you to interact with any boxes inside your building when crafting, so you don't have to go to them and pick out all your shit. You can just craft, which is a godsend. It saves us so much time. And to install these, when I go through and read what they actually tell me to do, which you should always do before you install a mod, I'm told I need QMod Manager. This one apparently doesn't need anything. This one tells me QMod Manager and Version Checker. So I got QMod Manager, I went to Version Checker, and version checker itself had a prerequisite of SML helper zero. So this. So this is why I have the collection of mods I have. And if I go over here to my mod manager, which is Vortex, click on games on the left, and I want it to start managing below zero. So manage. It's going to need me to download an extension and restart it. It's not a problem. And now that I've restarted it, I'm actually able to go to Subnautica here as the managed game. And right now it's immediately warning me that I need QMod Manager to do anything with Subnautica, which is fine. It's one of the mods I'm getting. And now that I've set it to manage Subnautica, once I've clicked on Subnautica, that's all you have to do. If I were to click on another game and activate it, it would show me my mods for that game. But instead, all you have to do is click on Subnautica, it activates the profile, and go to Downloads. Now it shows you that I've downloaded this extension so that it can ma be managed at all in QMod Manager. And let's quickly download all of the other mods I was interested in. So you can see that now I have seven mods finished, which are the six I wanted, as well as the Vortex extension update for this mod manager itself. And on this, I can actually just click and install all button when I open the notifications, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to click Enable All since they've been installed. And now if I were to go from here over to Mods, you can see that QMod Manager, for whatever reason, hasn't been installed. So let's fix that. Let's enable it. Now, deployment requires elevation and deployment necessary. Deployment is just it setting the order of the mods. It's actually currently virtualizing where the mods are for the purposes of not interfering with your game files, and deployment reorders the way that it's been virtualized. Now, I actually have never seen the screen elevate before, but I'm willing to bet it's very simple, and I just click elevate, and it works. Going to give it permission. And I'm guessing what that was is it needed admin permission for whatever reason to do it for Somatic of Below Zero, even though it didn't for other mods like Skyrim and Fallout. And now, seeing as it doesn't seem to be giving me any errors anywhere, I would guess that it's fully modded. So let's open the game and see. Should be pretty easy to check. After all, I'll be able to craft without touching things, and I'll be able to look at my outdoor grow beds without blinding myself. So we're in. We can click play, go into my game save. And initially that looked much faster. Let's see how fast it actually looks as it keeps going, though. And yeah, it's a little bit faster. It's not the blazing fast I was hoping for, but it does seem to be better. Okay, yes, it is much better towards the end. So this is my base. It doesn't quite look like you remember it looking. But it is my base all the same. And if I look around... Oh, my solar panels look normal! My grow beds look normal! Everything looks like it's supposed to. 
Although the truck is a bit dark, but that was here before. I, the truck is just that dark, unfortunately. That's not the mods. So, I'm going to check my inventory. Not carrying shit. But I can make all sorts of things with the things that I'm not carrying. I can just make a beacon right now. I'm not carrying copper and titanium, but I can make beacons. Another artifact. I'll then save it for the video. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly a So, yeah, installing mods on the PC is incredibly easy if you use the Vortex Mod Manager in the Nexus. This is not the Wild West days of modding Oblivion and potentially breaking your install. It's incredibly easy to handle. The main purpose of this video, though, is to show you exactly which mods I'm going to be using in my playthrough, how to install them on a computer, and to assure you that it's actually just really, really easy. If I wanted to turn all of these off, I literally can just control A and remove or disable individually. Like, this is so easy to get rid of them, to undo what I've done if I regretted it, and to turn it on. This is not something I've rehearsed. This is me using it for the first time for Sonatica, and it's just so easy. So please, help yourself out. Go install mods if you're on PC. Particularly install Glowfix so you don't lose your mind, and Easy Craft so that... You can just stop fucking around with lockers. Takes up way too much of the game. Your life is worth more than this. Anyways, this has been Rad and Coherent, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please consider commenting, liking, subscribing, all that YouTube jazz. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you around.